...saturated by the current. At Manchester University, their scientific machinery has generated huge sparks to illustrate the voltage of a lightning bolt. But it's not the voltage that kills, it's the amps. That's what stops the heart. And it's at Cullum Electromagnetics where they can generate the killing power of lightning. 200,000 amps. Here they can test to see if a wet body will reduce the damage done by the current of lightning. First strike, how lightning can damage something that's dry. A fresh cut tree stump with dry bark is zapped with the current. It's clearly very destructive. Well, this is what we've got left. It's, uh... The whole room is, is littered with these shards of, of debris. And many of the bits have actually punctured the wall of the room and embedded themselves in the wall. So it's actually rather more dramatic than I, than I expected. But how will a stump be protected if it's wet? Second strike. A tree stump is wet round the outside to represent rain-soaked bodies. How will the current be diverted around the bark? Will this show how Michael escaped with his life? Clear evidence that the flashover on a wet surface really could have saved Michael. The wet trunk fares far better than the dry one. There is even a small amount of tearing to the bark, showing eerie similarities with survivors' clothes. They are torn to shreds. My clothes... We don't have, we never got, they, um, they said my shoes were blown off. My pants were kind of tattered. So if you're struck by lightning and you had wet clothing, then in many cases that is your salvation. It might damage your clothing, but as long as you're taking most of the current around the outside, then you may prevent hazardous currents being injected through your body. For Michael Utley, flashover may have been increased by his wet and sweaty body and the dangerous current reduced by over 99%. It may have protected him from some of the damaging effects of lightning, but enough current still passed through his body to do the most lethal thing it could. Stop his heart.